and like you would have some admin uh, yep. hair drive things that I had going on. See how this one here. Mm -hmm. They have prior DD has one six seven eight. One seven nine one four Larchwood. One seventy nine fourteen Larchwood. We had a mental female call in, her name's Eva. She was on the line rambling, saying that she was using her artwork folder. And she was talking about having some trouble with her living boyfriend. We'll go check on her. It's a three. Hey, hey guys. Five, five, five. Listen, this five. is what's going on. Guy wants to film. Film. We're filming. I don't care. Anyway, he was <laughs> he's on federal property over there. Apparently, he's been there a lot today. Okay. He's pushing this issue with this gun. Because he's open carry. In the state of Ohio, you can open carry. So you can walk sure. around with okay. him. But if something says no guns, he can't go in. Right. He's I'm tried to get in there. Guard. From what the girl said, they wouldn't let him in because he had a weapon. Zero, okay. Zero, okay. Zero, zero, then he leaves there and he goes to the back of the uh, gate where all your trucks are at. Yeah. Still on federal property. And is sitting there filming. Then he's uh, uh, talking to all the mail carriers, making them all nervous. She told him, leave. You're making us nervous. I, I don't know if he's pushing the issue with the gun, but each carrier, he talked to three of them, it made every one of them nervous. And he said to one of the officers, I didn't hear this because I went in to find out what's going on. He told them, well, I'll be back here tomorrow too. He'll be back with the weapon also. They're doing this on YouTube. Oh, he's YouTubing. Yep. And what they're, I, what they're doing is they're told him, challenging all these different And I told roles. him, I said, I, I'm, I need your ID. I'm not giving you ID. I go, yeah, you are. Yes, you're going to give me your ID. And you're not taking my weapon. So the other sergeant I'm with, he's much bigger than me, of course. He says, we're taking your weapon for our safety. Yes, we are, you know. So, I mean, we're, whatever. But he's trying to challenge it. He's on federal property trying to get in there. And he's on yeah. your federal property trying to go past. He's already by the green gates, uh, green gates back there. Mm -hmm. That's their property. Yeah. They told him to leave. More than once, I, uh, as, so he from what I'm getting so from he her. Was actually inside the compound. Okay. Also, um, I don't know it? what's inside. I mean, I didn't go to the front. I had to go to the, the side yeah. door over there. Okay, so but he was. With, with oh, he was over there. Oh, okay. yeah, so yeah, he was not, over there. Mm -hmm. He's not supposed to be yes. over there. And, and filming. Well, did he actually make it inside the, the facility with, with the he weapon? He tried to open the door, and they would not let him in because he had the weapon. Okay. She said that we refused to let him in because of the weapon. Okay. So I don't know what kind of locks you got, or if they had it locked because he was out there with yeah, a there, gun. Yeah, there, there, there are locks on the doors okay. to, to, to so deny the access. That's, and that's what they did. They denied the access because they said you can't. That's what she told me in the back with the blonde hair, light uh, okay. skin, black female. She said, we, um, he tried to get in from whatever the clerk said, and he had a gun. And she said, we, we can't let you in because, it's my understanding what she said, is that because you're on, you can't come in because you have a weapon. Which I get it, you know. Right. And. What I'm getting from the officers is, I guess, that he was already told to leave. He told me, he said, well, earlier today I held the door open for an elderly female or a female to go in. He goes, and there was another woman over there on the sidewalk. I go, does she have a weapon? He goes, they better charge her or, or do something to her. I go, does she have a weapon? No, you have a weapon. There's a difference. You know, so that's where we're at right now. I think he's just like being a dick just to push the issue, or has he got, like, mental issues and he's just... You know, I don't... <laughs> I, he's trying to push the issue. He's, okay. he's, he was throwing, he didn't throw laws out at me. He was throwing them out at the officers is my understanding. Right. Uh, he's throwing all these laws out there. I'm um, fine, whatever, you know. But you can't be on federal property with a weapon. You're not, police can't even go into the federal building with the weapon and they, they have us put it up, you know? Come exactly. on, exactly. come on. Exactly. And he is, he's filming. He's like, I'm gonna turn this back on. But we, we, we have everything because we have him handcuffed and detained in the car right now. Okay, uh, what, what's his name? The, the officers. Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. So he's in the back. He'll probably throw some laws at you, or maybe he's new at filming, so he's not sure where to go from here. We have an inspector on his way. Okay. Where he wants to go with this? Okay. So should I advise him everything I just advised you? Yes. All right. Okay. Because you know, for my son, fifteen in Lorraine. For instance, like this, because they're doing this all over the country. Okay. They've actually told us to stand down. Not, not with the weapon, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Not with the weapon. But, but, but a we, have, we have rules against recording in, even within the post office. Mm -hmm. But they told us to stand down there and do what they do because what they do, what they do is notoriety. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of shut them down by, okay, go ahead, no. But, but we're going to keep an eye on it. And, and that's it. Yeah, but he has a weapon. There's right. a difference. And that's the difference today. Yes, absolutely. I mean, they can film. I know they're pushing it. Yep. I'm waiting for a description of the vehicle. Westy northbound on 
It's got a warrant. What's the warrant for? Thanks for the info. I'm sorry, Uniontown? Yeah, they both have a pickup radius of four. Uh, Greenfield, Ohio, failure to appear, 7 9 to 13. Uniontown, Ohio, telephone harassment, 5 14 to 13. Both with a pickup radius of four. What kind of gun did he have? It's a Honor Guard 9mm, checks clean. So he's got a warrant. I believe uh, weapons under disability is. Uh, mm -hmm. You have a warrant. Oh. Tell you in just a second, right? He's an inspector? Yeah, I'm an inspector. Sergeant Rutherford, yeah. Yeah, Sergeant Ivy. This was, <laughs> I'll tell you what he, what he was doing. Apparently he was here, from what he's, what I'm gathering, quite a bit of the afternoon. Yeah. And talking to different post office people. With Challenging their, people second. Yeah, Chad, right. Well, yeah. And you know what, and he was, tried to get in from what yeah. the female said there. Okay. And they wouldn't refuse him because they refused him because he had yeah. the weapon. Then he went back by the green gates on their property and was filming. And he's throwing all these laws at the office. I was like, no, 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 no. Well, you're, you're being detained for a moment because he's like, am I being detained? So they're trying to, he's trying to throw out these laws. Okay, yes, you're being detained. Okay, because you're coming out to also interview him. Uh, we asked for his ID. He wasn't going to give it. I said, yes, you are. And then Sergeant Ivy, of course, we got his ID. And for officer safety and stuff at this point, we have uh, the weapon in the car. And he's got a warrant. Contempt of court. He's got contempt of court. Where's it at? I hope it's somewhere we can take it. No, nah, the pickup radius is only yeah. four. But I'm thinking this weapon's under disability. Might it's a contempt of court, so. Calling in, it's just a third party, correct? Well, so let's double check that. Yeah, third party. Now, the ones that you've been seeing on YouTube, yeah. are, are they w walking in or with weapons too? Yeah, so no. So they can, as long as they're on public property, like so, like standing on the sidewalk outside the post office, that's susceptible. As soon as they try to go in the post office, mm -hmm. it's all prohibited property. And, and backed up by the green and fence. Then, and then, as I say, that green fence, you can stand as close as you want, you can hug it if you want. But as soon as you cross inside that green fence barrier, you're again on postal property. So, uh, and, and uh, they would probably know more because they deal with that more often. But that's my understanding. Yep. That's correct. Since they, since they said, yeah, so. Um, he said he tried to go inside, and they told him he couldn't come in. Yeah, yeah they correct. said because, yeah. that's what she said, because he had a weapon, they wouldn't let him in. Yeah, so. And he said, well, that female's on the sidewalk, so they should charge her, too. I go, does she have a weapon? No, <laughs> you have a weapon, there's a difference. Yeah. Um, Excuse me, I have to read the entire Ohio Revised Code. <laughs> I'm reading as fast as I can. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of it, so it's only 15 amended statutes. <laughs> I'm just in 29, 23, and it's I just charged somebody out of this, out of, uh, out of Brooklyn. You charged for what? We had them for uh, carrying on prohibited property, 29, 23, and then it was a they discharge, so it made it a felony, because it was endangering, but 29... It's 292301 Alpha, I think, is what we charged him with. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, does he have a cabalty? So, weapon is permitted to say yes. Let me call my he was open carrying. Oh, you guys didn't find any CCW or anything, right? He can't have a CCW if he's got warrants. No. Well, did he already <laughs> carry one? Was, did you find anything in his no, wallet? No. So, he was just open carrying okay. is what he was doing. He just had it, okay. you know. And he know they, they know that because in the state of Ohio, you can yeah, open yeah, carry. Absolutely. But wherever it says you can't have weapons or federal property, you can't. Well, he's got to go over look at the look at the whole property set up over there. But yeah, he was already there by the gate, so he's on federal property. They they've told him to get off the property, and he refused. He tried to get in the building. From what she was saying, they wouldn't let him in because he had the weapon. So I, I didn't ask him. Did you technically lock the door? Did you hold the door? Is it automatic locks? I didn't ask that.
what, he's around 1,400 hours. What? He's listening to the scanner on his phone. That's why he's waiting for us. Because I knew you guys would come and I heard it. So. Well, now look where he's at. I mean, you want to challenge stuff, make sure your record's clean too, you know? I mean, I understand they're pushing the issues and throwing laws at you. I don't care if they're throwing laws. If, if they're on federal property and they told them to leave, now, did that female tell you she told him to leave too? Oh, you talked to her, he, right? He left. But he came back. But he came back after she told him to leave. Yeah, because she heard, he heard the call come across. That's when he started. He was on the car when he got here. And then he started. I thought it was going to pour. It started raining. Just right oh, I mean, here. It was yeah, it was drizzling, but I was waiting for the pour yeah. to come. You felt the drizzle, right? Yeah. At first I looked back. And I was like, no, it's drizzling. I, I really thought it was going to start pouring. I don't want his, everybody's equipment, his equipment to get wet and get blamed, you know? I already put it in the bag so that it wouldn't get wet. This is Friday, right? I didn't hear you. This is Friday? Yes. And I was down at 111th dealing with that business down there. And then I had the two incidents up 110th. And then you guys were coming over with that, so I was trying to get up here. But just remember, if I'm detained, if I'm saying I'm going to handle something, you guys don't let nobody walk away. I don't care what laws they throw at you. It's on me. It's not on you. It's on me. I'm the supervisor. I'm going to talk to him. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was three postal employees. He was making nervous. I thought it was just one. The what? The male guy. He said uh, somebody said there was three postal people. He was making nervous. I guess talking to him. Oh, well, probably the guy you coached by the bell. That little bell shoot right there. The drop box, whatever. Because I'm sure he was just opening it and next thing turned around, the guy was up here. Well, he said they just charged somebody with the same thing. I didn't know they're doing this all around the country. So where do you, where do you take them? Oh, they probably take them to the county. But they charge them federally. Yeah, it's not like one person, but unless he's been convicted or something. Yeah, we have to run him and see. Did you run everything on him? Or yeah, it's got to say he has Do you know any prior convictions of anything? Is there any, any prior convictions? Like a felony? He's carrying a hand gun. looks like a Taurus from just looking at it. Um, yeah, he's carrying an open carry, just walking in the post office. And filming. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So he's. They told him to leave, and he came back. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. They. The sergeant was instructed that they told him to leave, and that's when he returned. Well, yes, yeah, the trespass. But it would be theirs. Well, they already charged and convicted a guy for carrying a weapon. I heard. Aren't you glad? I'm CEO of the Hastings now, man. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm going to touch you again, and that way you get the call. Come on. Come in. Come on. The nice guys. Yeah. The nice people. Yeah, yeah. That's our ice cream unit. That's not what it is. That's why we're kids. Which one? We don't have a weapon. Which one are you guys doing? You guys are doing. This is a community. Okay. Now, if you want to write it. Yeah, ice. You just got to get over time. Yeah, so that so one. you guys want to cite him? You, yeah. You want that weapon? Probably. I released it. I don't care. I mean, I, I'm not going to argue with him. Um, well, did you guys, you said you had something on him before? No, so a different guy. That's what okay. I was just checking to make sure. So, yeah, I had a different guy that had a neg discharge at a post office. Um, in fact, I just finished getting that guy. But, yeah, not, so not the same guy. Yeah, we, we had to, we've had people like this all all month in every different post office known to man. Really? Um, yeah, we yeah. He said they're challenging us. Yeah, yeah, they're challenging. So, 
this, so once the Postal Service became the Postal Service after they, 1971, you were so but whenever they became, <laughs> Damn. I was like three were alive. <laughs> we were babies. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was three, my God. Yeah, exactly, right, way to be alive. So, so yeah, when they, when they went from being under the actual executive branch, certain sets of laws no longer applied. So like, it no longer was covered under the same statute that covered courthouses. So, so what they did is they codified the United States United States Code under 39 CFR 232, which is a postal federal regulation statute that covers the postal service. Mm-hmm. And it basically says, here's all the things the postal service can do, and then here's a law set that governs postal property and the business that you can conduct on postal property to say you can't carry a gun, you can't have drugs, you can't trespass, you can't spit on the sidewalks, you can't smoke. You can't have you can't, drugs? Yeah, you can't have drugs. Well, well more actually, drugs in the post office than anywhere else. Hold on, hold on. You, can't, you can't have drugs in the post but you can mail them. Okay. okay. That's the difference. So as long as you're mailing them, we, we enjoy the postage. Mail them to your dog? Like, uh, the picture from, from the Indians? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Pick, hey, another guy just paid so, $2. so they're just they're trying to challenge this. Yeah, they're, this tra- they're challenging that code, code of federal regulation, saying that it's not. Well, why they don't send attorneys? Huh? <laughs> right. They did. There was there was a lawsuit out in uh, I think it was Colorado. It was yeah. Green Mountain lawsuit mm-hmm. where a couple went into the parking lot. Um, and uh, I, however it happened, they were they were saw what they were seen with a gun. So they they actually took it to federal court and they ended up losing. Yeah. So it's it's because they challenge saying, hey, this is no longer the this is no longer a federal building. Oh, okay. um, well, it is. It is. It is. It's still covered by federal law. Mm-hmm. So, no. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, I, I, that's, really what like, that's what I told him. Exactly I said he's still on federal like property. He right. yeah. said he didn't know. Well, he knew he's yeah. filming. I don't know he's filming. He's challenging it. He's doing yeah. what they're doing around the country. Yeah. So yeah. So, so, yeah. And, yeah. so well, you guys advise like is he? Yeah, so, lot on the property. Yeah, so yeah, because he so, says he's coming back tomorrow. So I, don't know I already told him he's coming back with his gun tomorrow. Yeah, he can't be in the building. Yeah, so he can't be behind the fence. Back. I hope he buys a lot of stamps. But yeah, if he comes <laughs> back on postal property with a gun uh, or anything other weapon, including a blade over three inches long, okay. we'll we'll write him another ticket. And eventually, it'll piss me off the point where I'll get a federal magistrate to let me arrest him. Good. Um, okay. But, uh, but yeah, so that's where we'll go. To. And I'll advise him that. I'll okay. let him know. This, is, this this ticket is a mandatory. Yeah, yeah it, it absolutely should be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he'll have to appear yeah. in, in managed reporting with the U.S. court. And they don't want to come and get him, Union Town. I know they say they have a four-mile radius, but... There's a pickup radius of four. Yeah. Is that what yeah. Jacino yeah. said? Yeah, that's a, I think that's like one county only. I mean, I could take it under. Oh. We can transfer it. <laughs> he really wants overtime. He wants overtime. I'm on to 11:30. Oh, okay. It's your buddy that has yeah, getting overtime. Yeah, well, when he goes to court, he gets overtime. I won't. All right. Who's citing him? You are. Yeah, the, Harvey's yeah. Okay. Yeah, Harvey's, right. Harvey's going to cite him. The, uh, it's two thirty. And you're going to advise him, right? And I'm going to advise him. Yeah. It's two thirty-two point one. So if he does it again after the citation, you'll yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll come back. And if he comes again tomorrow with his gun, they're going to come back out and issue a citation, he does, and then he's going to try to get a warrant for his arrest to the magistrate okay. to arrest them. Shade is his name. Yeah. Right. Hey, Go Mr. ahead and buy him. How are you doing? Can I step out? Yeah, just, just sit tight. Yeah, put your feet on the ground. Just put your feet on the ground. All right, there you go. Well, I don't think you should do that in that car because you're getting yeah. ready to get cut loose anyways. But okay, okay. so here's what's going to happen, okay? By the way, I'm Brandon Holstein. Oh, I'm a federal agent with the United States Postal Service. I'm a postal inspector. Oh, okay. Federal yeah. yeah. I thought you said no, detective no, at first because you're a state postal inspector. Yeah, correct. So, United States Postal Inspector, here's the authorization of 18 U.S.C. 3601. So the reason it came out is obviously you're on federal property, right? U.S. Postal Service is federal property. I understand that. Okay, so what happened was is you came in today, and I'll ask you what happened, but my understanding is from the post office, if you attempted to come in the post office with a blue jersey, you're dead. What'd you do? For the first time when I showed up today, like this morning, if you want to know, is I stopped at the door, and I looked, I was looking at the sign that said something about, um, yeah, correct. It's a violation of 18 U.S.C. 2114, which is robbery of a postal facility. Yeah, yeah correct. Okay. And I stayed outside the radio. Yeah. And he said, yeah, I'm going to be the Yeah. early this morning. Yeah. I asked him to answer some of the questions. You going off? Huh? You, are you, you yeah. done? I'm done. Because they're citing him. Once they yeah. cite him. Well, they're warning him. They're warning him that. Well, they're going to cite him. Yeah. But and if they cite him again yeah. tomorrow, then he's going to get a warrant to arrest him. There'll be no tomorrow.
then they can give them when they when we give them our stuff Careful back. When you tear that, don't yeah, you? I when, know. It, when it gets low like that, it sticks. You got your oh, knife? While we're here, I'm gonna talk to Justino in front of you. Oh, this is the second time. Well, I didn't tell him. I did, because you're gonna arrest him. Oh, okay. Because I told him what I was doing. <laughs> Did you guys find out what the warrant, what is uh, the warrant was for? Just you know, a contempt of court. Oh. I'm complete.